What if I told you there was a way for Manchester United this summer to not only sign one centre-back in Lenny Yoro, but two centre-backs? Not only one central midfielder, but maybe two central midfielders and Joshua Zerksy and Masraoui as well? You'd be like, Sam, hold up, mate. You're drunk. It's not going to happen. But there could well be a perfect deal for United to have with Manuel Ugarte that could enable that. Let me run through. Let me give me eight minutes of your time because I want to speak about this. Because on paper, Ugarte might not be the perfect player, but it may well be the perfect overall deal to enable United to do more this summer than I think we might have thought possible, right? We've already made some stellar signings. Lenny Yora is a statement signing. We convinced him, showed him that the project of Manchester United was good enough for an 18-year-old generational talent to come in to our club. Joshua Xerxes was Manchester United using the opportunity of a release clause. And that's a smart signing for a player I think will bring a lot to this squad for relatively little outlay. And then we move on to midfield, which for a lot of people was the biggest problem for Manchester United this summer. I actually think the biggest problem was uh, centre-back. But overlooking the central midfield issues would be a catastrophic. And then, of course, step forward, Mamba Lugate. Man United have already agreed personal terms with Lugate. It's never been an issue. He wants to join Manchester United. This has been the issue. So I remember when the first the story first came out about PSG wanting 70 million. 70, 70 million for Ugarte. More than they paid for him. Hilarious. But nothing really has moved in terms of Manchester United's pursuit of Ugarte in these last couple of weeks. I think United are trying to sell players and get it done. But at the speed of which the Euro and Xerxes deals were done, United fans are growing a little bit frustrated around Ugarte. And that's why this update from Fabrizio is so potentially important. Manu Garte said yes to Man United almost two weeks ago. He wants to go to United. He agreed on personal terms and he's also waiting for Man United to reach an agreement yep. with Paris Saint-Germain. What I'm hearing is that PSG could also be open to a loan with obligation to buy for Manuel Ugarte, but still an obligation. Still a loan with an obligation to buy Manuel Ugarte. Uh, Fabrizio didn't seem to have a bad idea. <laughs> That is something, I did a video when I did a full story on Ugarte about 11 days ago. I said, you know what would be like an ideal dream situation? I'd be amazed if Manchester United were able to negotiate it, but a loan deal for Ugarte, all right? And let me explain to you exactly why I think that would be such a perfect overall deal for our club. All right, this is from The Athletic, okay? This is from The Athletic back in June, about how much Manchester United are going to have to spend this summer. A net spend of just 50 million. Now, that may well have been slightly increased with what happened with the FA Cup. I don't really know. Not particularly much, though. 50 million. And we go and we take a look at how much overall Manchester United have spent this summer, right? Now, I know full well that this doesn't take into account amortization. So these numbers won't be exactly accurate. We're not paying all up front for Euro this summer. We're going to be splitting that over the next three to four years. But relatively spending, Man United have spent a lot more than we've made. And we need to make sales in order to be able to boost that bottom line. And I look at McTominay, I look at Casemiro. I don't need to speak about them anymore. I think United could and should be moving both of them on. I think we can replace the goal threat of McTominay with Joshua Xerxes. The, the physicality in midfield of, of McTominay with probably Toby Collier as a squad member. And Casemiro, I think Manchester United could move him on. And bring a new Ugarte, and that's an upgrade from a defensive perspective. Now, as I said, Ugarte for a lot of people isn't the ideal dream signing because he does have, he's limited when it comes to progression, right? He's good at receiving the ball, he's a very, very safe passer, but he's not a Frankie de Jong style player. No one's ever suggesting that he would be. But maybe this is going to be a summer where United, and this, I don't think United previously would have been capable of negotiating a deal like this. But imagine that Ugarte comes to United on loan and there's an obligation to buy. And that's, that means, of course, the money goes to next summer, which is why it's so important and prevalent. And you could well see Jadon Sancho go to PSG in the opposite direction. And it may well be a situation that suits both clubs. Because on paper, you look at why would, why would PSG let Ugarte leave on loan now? Why wouldn't they sell him permanently? And maybe, maybe Jadon Sancho is part of that conversation. But for United, it suits us massively. I've already just explained there about how much, how limited our, our funds are this summer. There's a reason why we're going after Ugarte, by the way. Wrong one. There is a reason why we're going after Ugarte and not João Neves. And it's money. That is the only reason why we are not going after him. But next summer, fingers crossed, 
Manchester United's budgets are going to be substantially different to what our budgets are now. Firstly, we should be getting back into the Champions League. And that is going to bring with it extra revenue. You'll get extra revenue for finishing higher in the Premier League as well. And who knows what happens with the Europa League. But Manchester United should, fingers crossed, be back in Europe's elite competition. And that will help our bottom line. As will, we, 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 would, we would be like a year further along with all the cuts and everything that Ineos have done. Whether that would be cutting the credit cards, whether that would be um, cancelling the FA Cup final trip for all the staff, whether that would be cutting 20% of the staff, whether that would be the savings that have been made on the wages of Varane, of Martial, uh, of potentially Casemiro, of potentially Sancho. There's a lot that could happen to our bottom line between now and next summer that would mean that we would be in a far better position to then pay for Manuel Ugarte. And to also, and for, for it to not to impact next summer's ability to actually sign players as well. Now, United, let's be honest, because we've been spending on the credit card, we owe a lot in transfer payables to a lot of clubs. I think we've got the highest in the Premier League. And this would add to that. But it would be a different type of deal. It wouldn't be signing a player on the credit card and then paying that off further down the line. This would be signing a player on loan with an obligation to buy and we may well be able to do the same thing in return for Sancho. And therefore, Manchester United could, in theory, bring in Ugarte this summer and another central midfielder. And therefore, we'd have enough money to get another centre-back in. And we could well see, maybe, I'm still dreaming, of course. Uh, typically, you get let down in transfer windows, but it's been a good start for United. But I'll tell you what, it's 30th of July. We need some movement. Maybe it could be that United could afford two centre-backs this summer and two central midfielders and Masraoui out and wan in for pretty much a net zero and Joshua Xerxes up front. That's six signings. And the outlay might not need to be north of 200 mil that it was under Ole Gunnar Solskjaer when we signed, what was it, Maguire? Was it Maguire, Sancho and was it wan in that first year? Anyway, we don't have that money. We need a net 50. So this idea of getting that many players seemed unrealistic. But then if the opportunity to get Ugarte come on loan comes in, sure, it might be an obligation. But that right there would be smart dealing. It, w it may well enable United to do more in this summer than anybody would have expected us to. And therefore, that adds to the strength of bringing in Ugarte. Like, it, we might not want to, but we have to. It's kind of what wan is as well, by the way. If he had another year left on his contract, I don't really think we'd be pushing for this Masraoui deal. But it's part, partly business, partly football. Ugarte, if you can get him on a loan, that, in my opinion, increases how good that potential signing could be if United then use that, that money we've saved up front and invest it in more for the overall squad. My two cents. You might disagree. But I'm, if United manage to get Ugarte on loan, I think it will be a killer deal.